e-cigarettes were originally developed to help adult smokers quit by providing a way to satisfy nicotine cravings without the carcinogens that come with combustible cigarettes. So they're a good thing, right? Sources tell us not for kids and teens. They start using a vape device. Well, now they're addicted to nicotine and they start looking for it in other sources. So now, instead of these products that are marketed to be a way for people to stop using tobacco, it's actually a way that they're introducing tobacco into our schools. A six on your side previously reported one Treasure Valley School Resource Officer says possession of these vapes and e-cigs are by far the most common violation of all. Kids often smoking them in class. They take a rubber band and they rubber band it around their wrist with a long sleeve shirt. And they'll take a puff on it. And as long as they let the smoke out nice and slow, nobody's going to see it. Kavanagh says the liquid chemicals in vape devices could hold a separate set of implications. Our flavoring alternatives that um, are being added into these products that create what is known as a popcorn lung. But he says of vape usage alone, it's too early to tell what the long term implications are. But to make this assumption that we're going to be able to figure out within the scope of a few months or a couple of years what is in these products and more importantly, the long term health impacts, we're not going to know that for a number of years. The design of these devices, he says, is just one of the characteristics these companies use to appeal to today's teens. And these products are designed to you know, look like USB flash drives. Um, there's products that are on the market that are solely designed to be concealed from parents, to be concealed by people in authority. That's not acceptable for our community. And in his role as the Idaho Director of Government Affairs for the American Cancer Society, he's giving presentations to lawmakers and discussing ways of keeping them out of the hands of Idaho's youth. We're excited to work with them, again, either at the local or the state level to find the best solution.